Hi everyone, my name is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an October favorites video. To be honest, from month to month, my favorites don't really change that much because I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not buying anything new to try out. But I do have a couple of things to show you all this month. So let's start with the makeup favorites. This month, one of my makeup favorites has been the Huda Coral Obsessions palette. That's right here. I actually got this from the Sephora um, rewards program. So it was like point perk. I spent like a thousand points to get this. I wasn't about to pay full price for this, which is like 40 bucks because Huda eyeshadows can really be a hit or miss. So I don't really want to spend it to find out it was a dud. But I actually quite enjoy the palette. It's the one I'm using on my eyes today. I just went for a very simple eye look. I really like the shades in here. These browns, although they look very like average, they actually come out quite coral, which is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. The eyeshadows blend really well as well and the colors show up really nicely. So I've been enjoying this. The only thing is that I wish the shimmers, which are here and here, I wish that the shimmers were a bit more prominent if they were glitters instead. I feel like with the shimmers, they kind of just blend in with the rest of the colors. So it doesn't stand out as much, but the rest of the mattes in this palette, I really, really enjoy. So if you do want to try out a Huda Beauty palette and don't want to get the big ones that she does, I would recommend the little um, obsessions that she does. I also have the Topaz Obsessions one, which is like all orange and that one looks really nice as well. So that's my first favorite for this month. So the second favorite that I have is nothing new. It's like an oldie but a goodie. It is the Inglot Duraline Mixing Liquid. So it's just a clear bottle with a mixing liquid inside. And what you can do with this is drop a few drops in your like dried up pomades or in the eyeshadow. If you drop it in the pomade, it'll help revive the product and it won't be as dry anymore. If you mix it in with eyeshadows, you can then use that as liquid liner. So with this, you can breathe new life back into your product. And I've used this for my KBD Beauty eyebrow pomade because it was starting to dry out. And so I dropped like four drops in there with half the pomade still full. It really helped just make it a lot more mushy, I guess, less dried out. Like it hydrated the pomade so I can start using it properly again. So I'm really happy with this. I'm excited to try this with eyeshadow so that I can do like a colorful wing liner or something. But yeah, I really enjoy the fact that this has made my pomade last so much longer. The other makeup favorite that I have is a sunscreen. Now everybody knows that you have to put sunscreen on every day it is literally the secret to eternal youth every day even if you're at home or not going out because guess what ladies and guys UV rays still come through the windows so my favorite for this month has been the Becca sunscreen that they have but not the normal one this is the oxybenzone free one now for anyone who doesn't know what oxybenzone free is it is a chemical found in quite a lot of sunscreens but the thing with oxybenzone is that it is actually not reef friendly it is once you wear the sunscreen and it goes into the water especially into our oceans it actually contributes to coral bleaching if you are beauty tip number one if you are going to be swimming in the at the beach or anything like that try and find an oxybenzone free sunscreen that you can wear in the water this one is the one that i found at mecca the original sunscreen was also really nice i tried the oxybenzone free one it actually comes out tinted like a little light tint like this i don't know if you can see it but it doesn't come out white but if you rub it into the skin, I haven't found that it leaves a color on my skin. I think it's just the um, color of the sunscreen. It actually turns clear on me. And it has a really nice soft scent as well that I really like. Rather than like traditional sunscreen where it feels quite oily and heavy, I find that the Mecca sunscreen kind of applies more like a facial cream. So I really like the feeling of that. And the scent is quite nice, quite soft. So yeah, I've been really enjoying this. Would recommend this to anyone who is looking for sunscreen and also wants to be a bit more environmentally friendly because as we all know, our coral reefs are dying. So 
please if you're going into the water please try and find an oxybenzone free sunscreen so that's it for my beauty favorites now i have a bunch of miscellaneous favorites the first thing well the first two things i guess because they came together are my new glasses that i got so i got these from a brand called oscar wiley they're very similar to my old ones in that they're they're both like gold rim but this one has a brown what are these called arms glasses arm and they have a little bit of a angle here so i think that they're really cute they're subtle but they're really cute so i've been really enjoying that i got these with um the blue light filter because whenever i use my glasses usually i use them for work and i'm staring at the computer all the time so there is like a yellow i don't know if you can see but there's like a yellow green tint i've been really enjoying these and because i have a wide face oscar wiley does do glasses that cater to that that's really the main reason i go back to them they're affordable they're nice like they're trendy and they fit my wide face so these have been my new phase because I've been wearing them every day and they're very lightweight and they're really cute. And as because they do like two pairs for like however many dollars, I also got Sunnies. Ta da! Do you like them? They're very extra, they're huge, they cover my face, which is great because, like I said, I have a wide face, so it's very hard to find sunglasses that are big but also suit my face. So these are my new sunglasses i'll link the styles down below for anyone that's interested but i really like these apparently when i wear these i look like a yuppie which is a new term that i just learned because apparently yuppie means like a young full-time worker who w looks really trendy or something like that but who also makes a lot of money <laughs> not me but apparently that's what I look like. So if I look like it, hopefully that manifests itself in the universe and that will happen for me. The other two things that I have are actually shows that I've been watching. Since quarantine started, I've watched a lot of different TV shows to fill my time. One of them is called The Bold Type on Stan. And it's pretty much about these three women who work in different departments at a magazine. They're best friends and they try to navigate life together it's kind of like sex in the city meets younger to me it's very easy to watch but what i also really love about this series is that it brings themes that at least i don't usually see in tv shows it talks about things like exploring sexuality it talks about breast cancer awareness having powerful women in the workplace that is not bitchy which i feel like is a stereotype that female bosses are always bitchy especially in publishing or like in media and i just really like there's a show that like empowers women in a different way so if anyone is interested it is available on stan in australia I'm not sure everywhere else but um, i'll leave like an imdb down below for anyone that's interested on the flip side of this i've <laughs> I've been really, really enjoying Attack on Titan. I finished season three yesterday morning and oh my gosh, it was such a ride. I know I'm super late to the party with Attack on Titan because it first came out in like, what, 2012? And it's 2020 now. But I'm actually really glad that I didn't start watching it when it first came out because there's only been three seasons and it's taken them eight years to push out three seasons and I don't know if I would have been able to wait that long. I'm really glad that I was able to binge watch the first three seasons and so now I'm ready for when the fourth and final season comes out in December. I'm so excited. It's just, oh my gosh, watching Attack on Titan is such a ride. You feel so many emotions every episode and it's so action packed, so fast paced. I love it so much. Would highly recommend to anyone that loves, you know, fast paced action, um, there's a bit of like grotesque artwork, also gore, so if you're not into that, I'd skip it, but I love it so much. Would highly, highly recommend. And that's it for my favourites. If you've tried out anything that I've listed in my videos today, comment down below, let me know how you found them. Also let me know if you like my dress. I'm really feeling this, like, little tube space buns and also the Pokemon dress. I feel like it's very in theme. Anyway, so... That's my favorites video done. Please like and subscribe if you like seeing my content. Let me know what else I should film or what you'd be interested in seeing also down in the comments below. And until next time, 